so happy that you thought you'd never be as happy again? Well, that could well be the case. With the findings of a new survey, it'd be relieved. Um, be believed, actually, rather relieved. than relieved. <laughs> you won't be relieved when you hear this. <laughs> After quizzing 4,000 couples, uh, the study found that married couples are at their happiest just before their third wedding anniversary, as this is when they feel the most comfortable with each other and when they have the most quality sex. So, ah. have you had your... Peak of bliss yet, Colleen? Are you still waiting? <laughs> well, do you know what? I'm coming up to my yeah. third anniversary. Oh. Yeah. How is it? Well, you know, it's funny because just last week I was saying to someone, do you know, I feel really content. It's like my marriage is kind of, you know, that, can, that nice feeling of we've, we've sorted this out now. It's really nice. I don't know about the second bit, the sex bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> you might get that after three years, I'm not sure. Um, but, I, so I kind of get what they mean because I just experienced that a few days yeah. ago, that feeling of, oh, why do you really think happy? Is? I don't why, why know. Do but I hope that isn't the peak. Otherwise, he's out by the fourth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take a bit for a new one. Just yeah. have one every three years. Yeah. Like a, yeah. That's why I just, it, it just... It's just rubbish, isn't it? Who says after three years that's the peak? We peak every day. <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> Nearly. Um, <laughs> nearly every day, every other day. Um, no, do you know, I don't know. I just think it's... peak even more when you're married, you well, know? Well, you know, t to say, just to say, oh, after three years, that's it. That's the best it's ever going to be. It's, it's so a bit depressing, isn't it? It is depressing, it's depressing, it's damaging well, it what you'll be then? expecting. It's it's yeah, you know. what year three was like. It's about 97 years ago, in my opinion. <laughs> How many um, years? 19 I think years ago. 20... 21 years. 21, 21, 21 years. years. I know. Hello. Well done. Um, <laughs> I think well that... done. <laughs> I do that around the it? Yeah, especially with you. <laughs> <laughs> what about him? No, you haven't had to oh, sleep with him. Yeah. He lived for 21 years. I have. That deserves a medal in itself. That deserves oh, an Oscar. Do you, think you've, do you think you've reached your peak then, Dan? Do you remember I it? think that it all comes in peaks and troughs, as they say. And I think that through the 21 years, you have... You kind of fall out of love sometimes, and I mean proper out of love, where you just could nearly murder that person, and times when you fall back in love with them. Uh, yeah, not necessarily for a long time. A I fell back in love with him yesterday, but then he said something that really annoyed me today, so I'm at back out. <laughs> <laughs> he's back in the trough today. He's back in the trough. <laughs> yeah, his food's back in the trough. But it changes by the hour, though, with it you It does change by the hour. But I think that what, what is slightly disconcerting about saying with this, this third year thing is that when you start feeling comfortable, is that when you, when you become a little bit more yeah. complacent? Mm. Because I think that after three years, you're not going to pretend that you don't do poos, are you, really? Which, which you know is what... No, I'm sorry, but you know with my poo gate thing, that's where the rot sets in, as, re as regards that, and all the arguments start, and toilet gate starts, and the downstairs toilet and everything. And shifting. I think that's what they maybe might think about. Um, you've had toilet gate. I know. Not with me, with hit and hit with Steve. How, and I you, just... how can you have toilet gate when you've got five toilets in your house? Well, he used the downstairs one. The same sort Which of is thing illegal. as... Yeah, but even so... <laughs> it's, it's a toilet, isn't it? It's just a toilet. Yeah, yeah, but excuse me, excuse me, can I just say at this point... No. Carol's saying... No. Carol's saying... No. ...that it's just a toilet... Can I just tell the story that Mark no, tells? No. Which is once he got into so no. much trouble for going to the toilet, he had to go to McDonald's. <laughs> and have what Andrew and I said, a McDump, because he wasn't allowed <laughs> to go in the toilet. <laughs> no, excuse me. I didn't say he wasn't allowed, but <laughs> he did... No, he did... He, he did... There was... I've only got one toilet, right? You know, four, four, five. I've only got one toilet and one bathroom. So one day I said, I'm just going in the bathroom. And just before I was about to go in there, he popped in there. And I couldn't go in there for an hour. I've got, I've got no other bathroom to go to. Well, you should have gone to. Like, I should have come around yours. And I, got, and I, got, I, did get, I did get a little bit cross. And so, yeah, the next day he was so scared. He, I, I heard the door go and he disappeared. I thought, where's he gone? I said, where's he been? He said, oh, I just went up the road. <laughs> Anyone that recognises him, they're going to sit and have their egg McMuffin and go, quick, here he is, come on, get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, Mark, I can't believe you told everyone that. Now, do you fancy going shopping mad this March? <laughs> you could buy a new toilet. Uh, well, you could. <laughs>